Hi, this is David Halliday here in Florida. It's been a while since we had an update on where we are with the Tahini project. I'm going to just show you where we are now, some of the changes that we've made in uh, the direction we're going. Uh, we'll just get right into it. These are the forward deck planks for the forward decks between the two major beams there. We've also changed, we had a simple pole bowsprit out front. Now we have a longer on, and the longer on, these stairs hinge up that into them. We're going to have something special here, but I'll save that for you for a later date. We'll have nets, trampolines out in front, trampoline style nets. We'll have some steps going up the front, the middle. The anchor will come up into here. We've decided we're going to use uh, anchor drum winches. And we're hoping that works out well. If not, we'll have to change things. Now we'll go into the back and I'll show you some other things that are going on. Okay, the biggest change that we've made in this project is that the decision was made to switch from uh, gasoline outboards to electric inboards. Electric inboards necessitated us installing a propeller shaft log with a strut coming out from the hull. The motors will be under the dinette and the uh, main berth on the other side. We've also added these horizontal planes. My thoughts on this is that this will help keep the boat from squatting under power a little bit. It will help reduce pitching. Double-ended boats have a, a tendency to pitch uh, more than a, a monohull or a, a, a fat-ended boat would. And also I think it'll help keep the propellers from ventilating as often. So we already had the holding tanks built into the hull underneath the head floor and the workshop floor on the other side which has a toilet in it as well, a head. And uh, so we had to tear those floors out to get these shaft logs in. And I will now give you a, a, a look at what else we've been doing in the back of this boat. Okay, so we have here, these are the aft boarding stairs. And this is the aft longer on, we're calling it. It goes uh, and ties the beams together and supports the location for the aft anchor which is going to come up here and, and there'll be a drum winch reel here and we're thinking that's going to work out pretty good there'll be a trap door above so that we can get access to this if we need to and then we had to finish off the longer ons with a nice little detail and so the owner saw these and says, I reckon we'll need the front half of that mermaid in the bow. So, well, let's see. Back here, we're gonna have trampolines. Up here, we have the aft deck uh, glued together. This one, we're not pre-painting because we can get in there a little bit easier. Maybe I didn't think of it in time. And the front one, we're actually pre-painting the edges before we glue it together. So let's go up into the cockpit and I'll show you what it looks like up there. Okay, so here's where the trap door will be, the hinge door. It'll hinge here and fold back and that'll give us great access to the anchor and the winch itself. Okay, so here you can see our bowsprit portion of the long rod. We're going to have pulpits on all three of them. I'm standing on the hatch over the ladder. These will fold back. They're a little awkward to handle right now. They're not uh, hinged. As we come back, 
This is the height of where we were going to have the anchor box when we were using uh, just a, a chain locker that was just gravity dumped in. Now we've decided to go with a reel up front, a drum reel winch. And so this is going to get cut down lower. That's a nice thing about it. I believe that's going to be the hole there is going to be life raft storage with a, a door accessible from the bottom and one accessible from the top. Behind it is the winch island for the halyard winches, the mass winches. Okay, so here we are at the hard top. We've made several changes up here as well. We've added the, the gutter grab rails on the sides. We've set it up so that they all drain down into these front legs. We'll have a spigot down here so that we can drain the water out. It also serves so that all the water dripping off the hard top just from morning dew won't make a mess on the deck all the time. We can put a hose on that spigot and run it down overboard where it'll just drip harmlessly or we can collect it when we want to. We've also fabricated all the legs. This owner is very concerned about lightning as well. So all of the legs we fabricated out of fiberglass. There are more legs in the center, straight legs. They're not in place right now. We'll see more of those later. Okay, here we are in the main cockpit. As is quite obvious, the boxes we built for the outboard motors have been removed. We've started filling in the holes. We've cut off the mounts, the pods below deck. We flushed that out and uh, glassed that over. This is the the console that you saw in the last video, it's, uh, it's going to go away because we're going to put a larger gen set underneath here and it's going to be longer. I'm waiting on that gen set to get in here. Um, they have a little bit of a lead time on them. And then once that's in here, then we'll build a larger box going this way more. It means we're going to add another helm seat. But we get uh, a lot more room out here and the, the winches just move outboard a little more.